before I start this, I know the... Alright. I'm just gonna redo the, uh, the... The Game Awards. I know this is not a redo video. But, I wanna go make this a quick little announcement. Yes, I know I failed to go... I was... I did... I don't want to, um, do that... Of kind of me, Kojima's friend. But I was too late they gave him a big F you in F Konami. I failed. So that I failed. I feel my duty. But anyways, the reason why I have done this is just that I wanted to stop this war. Yeah, I'm stopping that you guys are stop still doing F Konami. Could we stop? We haven't seen we haven't tried Melkir Survive yet. It, could we try Melkir Survive before we go declare declare it? Declare if it's good or bad. You haven't tried this game yet. Please, you better try. You can't just simply just declare the game is bad. You just, just like looking at the gameplay trailers and that. Just play it before you decide. Okay? Make that promise. Okay. And when Mecha Survive comes out, I need you to do me a favor. Play it and then see... P check it yourself before you you start uh, doing okay promise yeah I hope milk I hope you enjoy milk Gear survive and for those of you wondering where he made that video post it was from the from the death stroke I hope you guys don't not do any future of Konami's. If you're bankrupt, I'm gonna make this video where um, I'm gonna send a video to Jim Sterling just to tell him it's all his fault. Yeah. It is all his fault! He done all of this because you you want to obey a faggot, a fat man who who is gay, who is stupid, gay, fat, 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 and fat. Ah, you had to trust this faggot? Okay, I'm going a little out of hand. I'm gonna save my rage. Okay, I know I'm going out of rage. I'm just clearing out what, most of my rage um, out of this, so, um, yeah, this is explains why. You just really want to obey this stupid idiot! Wow, you failed to obey a Jim F. Sterling! Wow! No, F you! F you! Sorry, I forgot to put a warning earlier, but, um, yeah, I do have rage issues. I mainly get rage and triggered a lot by... <sighs> I know I like Hideo Kojima, I like his friend. I did also check his friend, he's actually a good director of horror movies. Yeah, I'm gonna give credit. No, I'm not going to bash on his friend, I like those two, and I like Konami. I just don't like the war between those two. I just wish that it stops! Please! Please! Okay. Okay, make this promise. If Melkir Survive comes out, play it and see it and see if it's good. And I'm betting this game will be good. If it's bad, then it's all because as you follow this fucking Jim Sterling. Not Kojima, but Jim effing Sterling. I know this is because of the Don't Have Konami news, but um yeah, I mean we're gonna leave a Don't Have Konami check on him on under his mail. I'm a bit and yeah, I was late due to my laziness, and I know I'm a bit of a... I know, I... and yeah, because you... And I know why you hate Metal Gear, so, Metal Gear Survive. BECAUSE IT'S A Z BECAUSE IT'S A ZOMBIE GAME! Okay, I can see, but still though, try it, and see if it's good! Uh, okay, and I hope it's good, please don't... Okay, I know this is getting too long, oh, alright, we're not getting anywhere to the awards, let's go! On. Okay, before we start, I would like to do this as more of a thing. I will only go talk about the special events and pre pre premium games first, just to cool out mostly out of the way. The event featured live performances, but now the performances by are running the ju use use the Doom soundtrack by Mickey Co or Dumb and Storm up on as well and gameplay. Anyways, games they actually. And we got, first of all, we got Mass Effect on the game. 
Yes, this game. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get any much message, but still do. So the plot of this game is takes place after three years. Uh, after three years of the first game, after the takes place six hundred years, so we're going to the next generation. Yeah, after. At, after what happened, he's dead. After Shepard's death, so yeah. And yeah, I know it's more action focused. I do like the more action. And yeah, I probably think it does. Anyways, let's uh, continue. You. <clears throat> the Walking Dead, a new friend. I'm gonna go make this a quick video, real quick. I didn't realize. I was honestly expecting it to be more of a survival game. Yeah, I was expecting you can go with the Royal Series. I was expecting. State of Decay or something like that, but um, unfortunately, it's just another Walking Dead. Another Tale Tales Walking Dead. It's another that. Prey! Obviously, we're getting the reimagining for those of you wondering. The Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild. Look at that. Shovel Knight, Eight Spears of Torment, which is a new. You don't play Shovel Knight again. It's been a while since I get Shovel Knight. Con also, raise up your hands if you get rarely get Shovel Knight content. Um, comment down below if you seen rarely seen Shovel Knight content. Halo, Halo's two, Halo Wars two is happening. Destroy. Death striking, yeah, I know the F Konami thing. I'm just, I wish we could stop the war because it's been going on, and I wish we can stop because we've been tormented. And well, if this game comes out, then I know I'm just gonna go make this as a more kind of video explaining why I have a problem with games. I have a problem dealing with. Kn just stopping this. Could we just stop this war? Because we've been <laughs> at this for quite some time. I we I wish we can stop because what we have doing, what we are doing, is chaos. I'm not kidding. We've been doing nothing but chaos. Chaos that we had done, and our consequences happened. Okay, okay. I need to go stop that. I need to go get to the. Okay, this is getting nowhere. Let's continue. You. You, this game awards. Then we got. The. A list from Parallel Labs. We got also a Bulletstorm remaster known as the Full Clip. A uh, Full Clip Edition, which EA is not involved with, if you look at. I did, I know, because the seal is so poor. I probably didn't they want to redo this so can, they can, can get the sequel. And this is also going to be for the next gen, also for the next gen consoles, which is for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, respectively. And yes, it's also for the PC. There's a PC. Also, yes, this includes. And yeah, it's a full clip. And it includes with 4K resolution, as well as additional content. And also, the, this pre order bonus for Duke Nukem. I'm going to say that if I would make a bet for this one, that. I'll make a bet that um, the Duke Nukem edition would actually, where the pre-orders get the Duke Nukem for free, and then you have to pay Duke Nukem, and when and yet and the pre-order bonus will be you have to pay at least I I hope it's not much, but about five bucks. I bet five dollars would do. I bet five dollars in U.S. So yeah, hear me out. I'm just gonna say it's five dollars. There's because obviously because of reasons. Oh, and yeah, I hope that. Next one is Tell. And then Tell Tell's new, I, new game, a Marvel, obviously, by the Guardians of the Get. Tell the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Yeah, it's announced. Lawbringer, Warframe. The only reason why they are, they are there was mainly because the Tell Their War within update is there. I do play Warframe. 
Assassin's Creed VR are and clips for the upcoming Assassin's Creed film. Yeah, I know that it's going to happen. You don't need to announce that it's coming. We already know. I know, yeah, I know this film sets place in a new unit. Sets it's where the video game is, but the feature and the story is to feel like a scene of analogy. I know that it takes a long time to watch the wait long for or the upcoming Assassin's Creed film, obviously because we are hyped for Assassin's Creed, which is actually coming out. I hope it's better than now yeah if anyone has a if anyone will like this and I hope we don't have to deal with a guy I hope it's not bad I hope it's something good rather than I pretty much hope that we get pretty much some bad video game out of movie movie bit where we get movie based video games Ugh. anyways and also breath of the Wild. And Legends of the Breath of the Wild had, uh, pre was featured in the pre-show. Well, I know I do feel salty for our dealing with the F Konami's. Salt, I feel like salty for all those F Konami's. Not including in Kojima. I'm not including a few. I'm, I'm making a few exceptions, which is Kojima, for example. I'm only making exceptions like Kojima, mainly because... I know I have faced criticism after criticism after criticism on my actions. I mean, late in, yeah, I was the one who basically put down F Konami's. There's this one guy that I had talked to, but I don't want to make any names on Twitter, mainly because thus, I am worried for. I have to fi deal with him. I just don't want to deal with names. Anyways, let's get on with the award ceremony. I don't want to dizzy dazzle anymore. And I'm sorry if I have. Sorry about my anger issues. I have problems dealing with people and everything. So, yeah. Sorry for those people. Okay. Now, let's go with the honorary awards. Industries Iconic Award, Hideo Kojima. Yeah, we get it. So. Oh, I can give credit to Hideo Kojima. At least he speaks English. Um, somehow, in the other industry. Other people where he has his very own translator. Why was he not speaking English in like in this MGS I video? Melchus saw it five the Phantom Pain or one of his when he was in Deathstroke. He just like he never speaks. He never he always brings a translator along. But finally, I don't know if this is the first time he ever speaks in English without a translator. Finally, at least he speaks English. I don't know why Kojima never speaks English in the other videos. Was that he was mostly speaking Japanese a lot, or he never got the time, the time to speak English? It's kind of weird. I don't know how he was that. Okay, okay. All right, I need to. Look. So let's start with the fan choice awards. Year Sports Game of the Year, which is obviously Overwatch. I know CSGO has been encountering the year, but um, due to the s paid sprays and and gloves, I probably think that's the main reason why I was having problems this year. Team of the Year, Cloud9. Esport and the last Esport Player of the Year, which is actually Marco Kozo Dave by SK Me. Minxie. CSGO. Best fan creation. Now, I was expecting Doom 64 to win, but unfortunately, and unfortunately, Andra, uh, the sh sh Shade of Order actually won. One sec, I'm looking for a boost sound effect on. That's what I can find. Okay, this is much more better.
Yeah, I was expecting Doom to win. Yeah, I know, expecting Doom to win. And yeah, I was expecting Rule Doom 64 to win. Trendy Gamer. This is kind of odd. I kind of expect PewDiePie to win this again. But unfortunately, PewDiePie wasn't in this year. I was sad that PewDiePie wasn't win wasn't here this year. And Boogie2988, two two or 88 if you want to put that way. And I'm sorry if... I'm sorry, but... Anyways, I don't have anything against the guy. I know he's a fat man, but um, I don't want to go make any fat jokes with him. So yeah, um, when does it say? I don't know why wasn't PewDiePie on the list again this year. This is the third time he haven't won, and this time he wasn't appeared in this one. I'm sad that PewDiePie didn't win, and I hope hope next year PewDiePie wins. 100% sure he will win this year. I don't know why he wasn't in the trading gamer list. Most anxious game, the. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, yeah. Now let's go with the jury game of the years. So let's go through the juries. Best multiplayer game, Overwatch. It's kind of odd since we got Overwatch winning this year. Another year for Overwatch. Wow. Yeah, I've been playing Overwatch not that much lately, but still though. Then we got best sports and racing game. No, I don't play sports or racing games. They're not my cup of tea. So yeah. Don't play much, by the way. I'm gonna focus on Rising Tree by Playground Games. Actually, yeah. Best family game, Pokemon Go. Best strategy game, game. Civilization Six. <laughs> yeah, we played that game. Best fighting game, Street Fighter Five. Best role playing game. Okay, okay. I want to go make this a quick, a bit of a weird rant. Um, this is kind of weird. I want to make this a pause this real quick. Like, two out of one, two, three, four, five, five categories. They pick a DLC to win. Whoa, whoa, what, 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 really? Um, really? Um, I want to go talk about this real quick. Why did they include two DLCs? They don't count as games, they just add in additional content. I know they put Wild Legion on there, as well as Blood and Wine. And somehow, Blood and Wine won! Um, yeah. Best Action Adventure Game, Dishonored 2. Best Gate, Best Action Game. DOOM! Yeah! Best VR Game, Res Infinite. Best Mobile and Hand Game, OFF POKEMON GO! Best independent game inside. Best game for impact. The Dragon Cancer. Best performance. Okay, I want to make this a quick little rant here. What? Okay, I know Norman North. I don't know. I know Norman North, Emery Rose, and Troy Baker actually got uh, best actually done on Chapter Four. On Chapter Four took. Look, half of the spots. I don't know if there are three people over there. I know he plays Sam Drake, which is only not Drake's brother. And yeah, I know. It was oddly enough voiced by. Obviously enough voiced by. I need to Drake. Oh no, sorry, Troy Baker. Yeah, I know. And then North and North won this one. Kind of weird, also, the law in Clay and Henry from. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry, but still, though, respect the game, so. Also, why did. And also, why there are two. Also, they award two people for Firewatch. Odd. And let's go with the last two categories. And thank you. Okay, let's go with the last category. Last three categories. Actually, last. Never mind. Let's continue. Best music and sound design. Doom. Best art director. Inside. Aside from mostly being mostly. Yeah, I don't think this won an award. Okay, okay. Uh, one this should have won.
right, all right, all right. Mostly mainly because as inside, if you look at the art style for this game, it's mostly black and white with a few color exceptions. And I was expecting over, I was expecting other games to win, but this actually, uh, you mean it's mainly black and white. Best narration at the end. The writer, Neil D. Druckmann and John uh, Scorer. Best game director, Blizzard Entertainment. Now, guest game of the year, Overwatch. I was expecting Doom to win. Yeah, I was expecting Doom 2016 to win. The main reason why, this is an epic remake and a comeback to the Doom franchise. I do like the new game, and aside from feeling like also be using some parts from the mod, I'm serious, they use some assets from the mod. Odd. And yeah, and this actually won. No, I was wish I had one game of the year. This should have one game of the year, you know. And yeah, I know I've been playing Overwatch, so I can at least give credit, at least. Anyways, I gotta go. I got, um, well, I had to deal with something on a bigger scale. So it's pretty good. The Gibby Years was pretty good. I think it's good. No, I wouldn't make a 2016 video, so I'll. Yeah, the Game Awards 2016. Oh, I gotta go. I hope that I don't have to do. No, sorry, my rage in the earlier video. I had. A, I need to clear that out real quick. Icky, yes, I did need to clear that out real quick. So, uh, yeah. Sorry for that rage way earlier, so I hope no one was offended with my rage at the video, so. Yeah, I need to go wash my hands and go eat my meal, so yeah. Sorry for the rage earlier, so... And once again, sorry for my rage. I need to clear that out real quick. I need to clear that out. So yeah, 